What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today, finally, yet again in Logic Bots. I didn't forget about this game, I really do like this game, I've obviously been busy with some scrap mechanic builds, uh, but we are back in Logic Bots, and we're gonna finish off College, I think that's where we're at, is where we have to do the Color Mage in College, yep. So we gotta do this Color Maze, uh, so we gotta build a Logic Bot to complete the Color Maze, I'm not really too concerned about the time, robot cost is 750 or less, uh, Twin Motor Framework, okay, so we'll, we'll do it with the Twin Motor Framework, and we'll do it, uh, your logic bot must turn right at red walls and left at blue walls. Okay. So let's take a look at what the level looks like. Alright, so it's gonna go right, and then left, and then left, and then left. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect. So we gotta use the twin motor framework. Uh, that'll be like this. And we're gonna put some snap lines on it, so we'll just add some new snap lines. It seems to save your snap lines from previous designs, but uh, I always like adding new ones for every new design anyways, just, just because why not. So we'll put a snap line there, and then we'll put another snap line here. Alright, perfect. And uh, we're just gonna do wheels. Perfect, so we've got four-wheel drive. Um, what do we have for... Ooh! Okay, so we only have a color sensor and a compass. Okay, we'll put it on the front. So the color sensor is gonna have to detect which color uh, the wall is. Alright, so red is one, and blue is four. And so when it, when it senses red, it'll be one, and it'll have to turn right. And when it senses blue, it'll be four, and it'll have to turn left. And then the electronic compass, so we're gonna need an electronic compass, and this, I guess, is just gonna tell you what rotation you're at. So we're gonna have to tap into the compass. So let's look at the circuit board here. Uh, this is gonna be just a lot of circuits, I think, not so much color sensors, so... Okay, so the compass tells you two things. So it tells you absolute rotation and cumulative rotation, which um, cumulative rotation would be how much you've rotated uh, since since starting, since the beginning of the thing. Easiest thing to do, the entire logic bot can be, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna use yellow wires here, so it'll be nice and visible. So both motors will be on all the time, that's, that's a given. So, there's two conditions for the color sensor. So we're gonna do a static value, and it's red is one, and blue is four. And so, if we go two equals, oh, we need a splitter first, shoot. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna put a splitter up here to split the signal, so we'll split the color sensor because we have to check two conditions, so we're gonna need two equals. See, unlike in Scrap Mechanic, every individual connection has to have its own connection point, uh, so you have to use splitters properly and you have to use OR gates properly when you wanna bring signals back. So, we have on the top here, if the signal, the color sensor is equal to one, so that's red, which means you have to turn right, so this top section will be turn right, and if the color sensor is equal to four, it's blue, turn left. Uh, and then we've got the absolute rotation here, so we'll we'll move this down over to here. Perfect. Okay, so when it turns right, we need it to to hold a value. Now, if we were doing this in Scrap Mechanic, I would set a bit. So I would say, okay, I need you to turn right for 90 degrees. So set a bit, and then as long as the bit is set, you turn to the right, and then when it hits 90 degrees, you reset the bit. So instead of doing it with a bit, we're going to do it with a counter. So when you turn right, you're going to add one to the counter. And when you turn left, you're going to add one to a different counter. And when this counter is equal to, and we'll put another one here as well, so when this counter is equal to a static value of 1, uh, we'll do a static value of 1. So if the right counter, if the right color is detected, it's going to add one to the counter, and if this counter is equal to 1, then you want to reverse the right motor direction because that means you're gonna the right motor is gonna go from forward to backwards which means your right side is gonna turn backwards your left side is gonna come forwards and the thing's gonna turn to the right and then we're gonna do this one for the left motor when the color sensor detects the uh, blue it'll be equal to four it'll add one to the left counter which in turn goes here now very important when the entire creation starts we need to make sure both counters are at zero so we put on this start pulse, which is, you know what, this is going to get a little bit messy. So this start pulse basically just uh, creates an initial pulse right off the bat. And we're going to use that to reset both of these gates, like that. So when the creation starts, the start pulse will emit a, emit a pulse. And it's the same thing you do in Scrap Mechanic when you want to make sure your bits don't freak out initially. And it'll reset both of these counter bits. So that, that'll work out quite nicely. All right, so if we were to test this... Um, you would see that when we start moving here, as soon as it detects red, it's going to start rotating. Oh, that is way too close. It's rotating back here. It needs to rotate much closer to the wall. 
I see we're gonna hit the hazard and obviously it's not gonna stop rotating so uh, first thing we're gonna need to move that color sensor back so we're probably gonna need just an angle bar here so let's just let's just do that real quick let's put an angle bar there and let's just move you way to the back um, that way it's gonna detect the wall a lot closer also it kind of jerks a lot so we're gonna take these front wheels and we're gonna just make them free wheels so that it just they free spin uh, it'll only be two-wheel drive in the back and see now it's a lot more stable because it's a lot slower with the four-wheel drive it, it seemed to jerk a lot and I'm worried it's not gonna stay straight so now you see it'll sense the wall and it'll start to rotate but it won't stop rotating oh oh okay yeah perfect currently uh, this is a this is a little bit of a problem so the rotations at 720 degrees okay so we're gonna need to reset that so we'll get to that in a sec so we're gonna need to reset that with a start pulse um, so actually let's do that let's put an or gate here because we're also gonna need to reset this with other things as well oh let's just let's just do this down here like so okay so we'll reset that and we'll put a start pulse here as well we need to do a few other things so this you can see here is at a value of two because it sends the sensor twice now as soon as this starts it's gonna it's gonna reset that now when it hits 90 degrees so when it rotates 90 degrees i believe uh if we were to look north that would be clockwise so 90 degrees would be turning to the right and then negative 90 degrees would be turning to the left i think i'm not i'm not sure about that but i think so so we can do two equals conditions here right and we can do these equals conditions to a static value and we can say okay oh wait oh hold on hold on hold on we got a problem houston we have a problem we need a splitter so we need to take this cumulative rotation and we need to split that actually we're gonna this is getting a little bit disorganized here perfect just like that and we can do a double equals condition as well with two more static values and we can say okay 90 on the one side and negative 90 on the other now we can say when 90 degrees is equal to the value of the rotation on the compass then you need to subtract one from rotating to the right because you've wrote this is the right rotation you're rotating to the right you've reached 90 degrees which means you subtract one from rotating to the right and the same sense here you subtract one from rotating to the left however actually we i made a mistake here because we also need it to reset the cumulative rotation counter back to zero um so we need to actually split both of these signals and then send these signals through an or gate this is where the circuit gets awesome so this or gate will actually go back to this or gate here which we've already made which will reset the cumulative rotation and then this signal will go to this splitter this one will go to this splitter the other side of this splitter goes to subtract one off the right rotation and the other one of this splitter goes to subtract one off the left so hopefully you followed that but basically what we've got here is the motors are always on that's the first step really simple motors are always on check initially when the circuit starts when you place the bot down these, this pulse will reset both of these counters, and this pulse will reset the rotation on the compass. So that's good. When the color sensor senses a, a right turn, it will add one to the counter, and the robot will start rotating to the right. When the compass equals 90 degrees, it will subtract one from the right counter, which will stop the motor from rotating to the right. So the robot will stop rotating. And basically, and then it will also reset the compass. And so the idea is that it'll just go rotate 90 degrees go straight rotate 90 degrees go straight rotate 90 degrees so there it goes rotating hopefully this is 90 degrees oh it's not okay so i got that backwards so we need to switch these so this one's actually negative 90 and this one's actually positive 90. there we go okay so i have that backwards so rotating to the right actually goes in the negative direction and rotating to the left actually goes in the positive direction so now it should stop at 90 degrees and why is it not stopping at 90 degrees? Perfect. Oh, excellent. That, that's exactly what we wanted to do. What are you doing? Why are you not working? Oh, okay, I see what the problem is. You can see there, this is going to negative three. We're, re we're subtracting from the wrong one here. Okay, so this is, this is, I just, I just reversed these. Okay, the issue was that we're subtracting you see here we look at the counters uh we're subtracting from the wrong side so when it gets to that rotation amount it, it subtracts from the wrong side and so it keeps rotating in that direction so this should fix it i think so we're gonna rotate here and then what why is that still not working 
I don't know. We're, I'm going to rebuild this circuit because I must have screwed up somewhere. Like, I must have, honestly, I must have screwed up somewhere. All right, we're going we're gonna to start from scratch here and just do everything properly again. Signal splitter off the initial input. Static value. One is for right, which is red, and four is for left, which is blue. It's equal to, if it's equal to, splitter comes in on one side, static value comes in on the other. Like that. Okay. Very clean. Now, if it's equal to right, then you want it to add one to the right counter. And it's equal to left, we want to add one to the left counter. Okay. Perfect. Now, at the very beginning, we're going to say if either of these is equal to, so we're going to go up here, right, like this, and come down, and we're going to go up here, right like this, and come down. Perfect. So those are your two counters, and if they're equal to a static value of 1, then we know we're in business and we can be turning. All right, perfect. So static value of 1. So if the right value, which is this top one, right is top, right means you have to reverse the right motor direction because you need to turn to the right, and left means you have to reverse the left motor direction. And again, we need another set of start pulses to reset both of these at the very beginning of the thing. When we have the splitter off the cumulative rotation, and we have the static value, and we have the static value equal to, okay, so static value equal to 90 means you have to, if the static value is equal to 90, you have to do two things. One is subtract from the right, and when it's equal to negative 90, you have to subtract from the left. And at the same time, you also have to reset the cumulative rotation and the other side that resets the cumulative rotation is a pulse all right like so so perfect so that's all makes sense and then the only other piece we need is the switch which activates both motors so i what? I wired it up the exact same way twice in a row. I'm not even joking, guys. I like I must have missed a connection somewhere, but I did the exact same thing, and now it works uh, until it hits the hazard area. Okay, so we can adjust for that. So we just need to we need to just move this a little bit closer to the front. So all I did, I, I don't know, I must have missed a connection somewhere. So basically what it does is when it senses a red wall, it sets a bit on that side. Well, it sets a counter on that side to one. And then when it senses a 90 degrees, it removes the one from the counter, so it stops rotating. And then blue is negative 90. And then they, of course, reset the rotation on the compass itself so that they're always lined up with the next direction. So it doesn't matter that it veers off course, because as soon as it senses the next wall, it will set itself back to a perfect straight 90. And then it'll, you know, veer off course again, but that's okay. Alright, so we're actually doing this. This is ridiculous. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I must have missed a connection somewhere, guys. I, I built that whole circuit. We'll get this, guys. We've got the circuitry down. It's just a matter of tuning the, the device now. I, I can't believe that. I, I swear to God, I up I did the exact same circuit twice in a row, and for some reason, it just didn't work. Come on. Oh, perfect. Alright. Come on. Next one. Okay, do it. Do it. Don't hit the walls. Oh, thank goodness. All right, line yourself up straight. Keep yourself nice distance from the hazard. Don't hit the hazard. Please don't hit this last hazard. Don't miss the wall either. Okay, good. Going for the wall. Going for the wall. Tons of space. Oh, thank. Thank everybody. Holy cow. I, I was going to go check out the other ones, but that was a very painful experience. I mean, if we go back, so the color maze finally done this. 20 out of 32. I mean, that's not very good. There's a lot more to still do there. If we go check out the industrial and state, I mean, the first one, let's just go look at here. So it says wall maze. So let's just look at this right off the bat. Um, yeah. 
So the color maze was one thing. I don't know why the circuit didn't work for that, but uh, this is going to be a whole other challenge. If you guys like Logic Bots and you want me to continue this series, make sure you drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I definitely like this series and I really, really like this game. Uh, I'm going to try and get a little bit better at doing these things. Maybe I will do the uh, building and testing beforehand. So let me guys know what you think of that in the comments. Um, I could do a little bit less of the building and show a little more levels. Or I could do more of the building and show less levels. But uh, make sure you guys leave those comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you